Hi everybody, in this video we're going to talk about using blended math workshops in the classroom. The idea of blended math workshops is that you're splitting your class into rotating groups, some of them using technology and others learning with traditional instructional strategies. And the actual groups can look something like this. Group A works on pencil and paper math tasks, such as worksheets or workbook pages. Group B works on digital devices using math programs that help differentiate math practice. And group C is a small group or individual that's working directly with the teacher. One great thing about this framework is that it doesn't require a full class set of computers or digital devices. You can easily make it work with a half set. Also, groups don't have to be physically separate. They can be mixed amongst each other in the classroom. And if the student tasks are planned well and students know the routines, your first two groups can work independently and productively on meaningful work while you, the teacher, is able to work with a small group or individual student for intervention or other personalized instruction. So what exactly can students do on computers that helps differentiate so that they can work at their just right level? Well, here are a couple of free programs. Extra Math is an excellent program for math facts practice. Khan Academy provides math lessons and quizzes. Freckle offers math facts practice plus a lot of leveled math activities. And Greg Tang Math has a lot of fun math games that are aligned with standard math curriculums. All of these resources are free with a couple of them offering paid upgrades. There are other programs that you have to pay for. You can find descriptions and links for both free and paid programs in the description to this video. So here are a few tips to make your math workshops run smoothly. First of all, Teach and practice the routines for your math workshop so that students transition well. Also, use a visual schedule or guide so that students are clear on what they're supposed to be doing. Some teachers post a menu of tasks that students must complete, and then students can choose what order to finish the task. Additionally, make sure that students understand that when you're working with a small group, you're not to be disturbed unless it's urgent. And finally, assign students to be student experts that can help with math tasks or computer issues. This will help reduce the temptation to disturb you. Blended math workshops are a great way to make blended learning a reality in your classroom. If you've got a good plan and your students learn the plan, you can really make it work. Let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.